My name is Luigi Ferrucci. I am uh, an epidemiologist and a geriatrician, and currently I am the scientific director of the National Institute of Aging, the Interim Research Program. So over my life, I've been doing a lot of descriptive work. You know, my, my really specialty is doing work in longitudinal studies, and we do longitudinal study because it's really the only way we have to understand how our body changes with aging. But if you compare people that are of different age, uh, you'll find that they're different, but they're not only different because their age is different. They're different because of different experience. The only way to address uh, this uh, you know, conundrum is to take individuals and follow them over time. What we don't know is why this phenotype develops. And so I'm going to talk today about uh, a little bit about inflammation, but I'm going to talk about why we lose muscle strength and muscle mass with aging. And uh, to make a very long story short, we did a number, we approached this problem from a number of perspectives. The first thing that is important to outline is that uh, we lose uh, more strength than muscle mass. So our muscles shrink. Uh, but that's not the most important part, is that the muscle that remains there is less able to generate energy, and less able to generate strength. Now, uh, we've done, as I said, the approach piece from multiple perspectives. We've done metabolomic study. We've developed new techniques uh, with the uh, imaging of, of um, nuclear magnetic resonance uh, by looking at uh, mitochondria energy production, and actually also some structural characteristics of the muscle. And we also use uh, truly state-of-the-art uh, super-resolution electron microscopy. And, and we have discovered a number of things. First of all, that uh, you know the culprit of muscle quality is truly a dysfunction in the system that generates energy in our mitochondria. Mitochondria in the muscle are imposed in a network that's structured so that connection between mitochondria is very flexible and it's very easy to occur. With aging, there is fragmentation of these networks, so the production of energy becomes localized, and so it is critical. And this determines a number of structural changes that uh, is really characterized by the penetration of fat into the uh, architecture of muscle that uh, really impose a stress on its function. And, and so by understanding this mechanism, uh, we hope that we can identify compounds that are, you know, fighting these changes and preserve as much as possible functional state in older people and reduce the burden of disease and disability in these enlarging and expanding portion of the population.